Good morning. Another day in Stockholm. Another walk. Today we are at Meborgarplatsen, which is like a central square here on the South Island, Södermalm. And we are going to walk around a little bit and we are going towards Nytorje today which is another square I would say about 20 minutes walk from here so let's see this is also like a central meeting point for a lot of people when they go out so a lot of people from Stockholm when they go and you know, party or go to restaurants and things like this. This is usually where they meet up here. They're like, oh, let's meet on Söder. And then from there they pick a restaurant or a bar or whatever, you know, on the weekends. So it's a really nice central place to uh, explore the South Island here. It's about 20 degrees on the weekdays. It's still early, so people are going to work and school today.
and this is actually uh, called Skrapan. It's like um, maybe the highest building on this island. Actually on the top you have like a lookout point and the bar is really nice. A lot of tourists go there. It is a little bit of a tourist trap because it's very expensive, but um, yeah, if you want to go, let's say if you want to go on a first date or something and you want to enjoy the view and have a romantic dinner, yeah, it's a very nice place. This is actually the, the central bar. It's one of the cheapest places to, to drink beer. Um, because Sweden is known for being very expensive. Just to give you an idea, like a beer in Stockholm and a bar can easily cost you five or six euros in the most popular places. But at the central bar, you can probably can get a big beer for like, three euros fifty or something like that so it's for Scandinavian standards it's um, it's very reasonable but of course compared to other countries still still expensive The other entrance of Skanstul uh, metro station. And I think here we should cross the road somewhere because New Toyet, which basically means the new square in uh, Swedish, um, is on the other side, so we have to cross here. Over there you have a very popular Thai takeaway place. It's probably uh, one of the best ones around here. It's very reasonable in price as well.
so I'm not sure if you actually can see it here on the camera but straight ahead over there you see this little round building which looks small from here but it's actually uh, very very big it's Stockholm Globe which is the largest I don't know like building in that kind of shape in the whole world um, it's an ice hockey stadium but also you know they do concerts and everything like that so it's it's very cool I did another separate video on on the Stockholm Globe on my channel so have a look Let's go this way. Hey. Ursäkta mig, nu tog jag till vilket håll är det? Ja, då är jag fram bara. Ah. Och sen är det lite höger. Ja, ah, tack så mycket. Så 
So sometimes I, I just like to ask directions when I'm not 100% sure, because I think it's also quite fun for you guys, you know, to learn, to to hear a little bit of Swedish and some interaction uh, with the people. So although I could find it by myself, sometimes I just ask for directions uh, for the sake of, you know, making the video a little bit more interesting. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or not. If you want me to talk, maybe even talk to shop owners, maybe, I don't know, even getting a coffee or a beer or something like that. So if you if you want me to do that, then um, yeah, I'm very willing to, to do that. But if you think it's boring, then uh, yeah, then I'll, I'll stop doing that. Because I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way in this channel. Um, because I really want to do as good as I can, explore all the possibilities. Because I think YouTube is a great, great medium to, to do so many things. So, yeah, just tell me if you have any good ideas and uh, maybe I can do it. Let's go over here. Oh, I really love this street. Like in Stockholm, they have this cool thing that in summer they create kind of summer streets so what they do is they close it off for traffic just during the the two summer months and um, they will put up all these chairs and tables outside just to make it you know fun for the people so you can just sit outside and enjoy the few warm months and the good weather so yeah, really nice, if you ask me. I'm not so sure if the people that live here actually like it. That's a different story. Very cool. This area, especially around New Toyot, is known for being very hipster. Um, there's a lot of cool people, whatever that means. So, um, yeah, a lot of trendy people, you know, that are interested in fashion and drinking their lattes and their cool different types of coffees. <laughs> I personally don't really care about those kind of things but it's really interesting for me to see you know what people are up to and what's happening so it's fun to watch really Alright, 
so we have arrived at New Toriyat. Thank you for watching and um, see you guys on the next walk.